And can you talk about some of the stereotypes you have faced with NF throughout your year? Mm -hmm. You know, I think in having a visual disorder, it's it's very complicated in such a uh, visual world that it's a, a world that it's so um, um, fixated on looks and fixated yes. on um, you know an image or a certain style. Um, so people have you know said and made cruel comments uh, throughout the years, um, and I, I think a lot when. Um, just growing up, uh, I, I wouldn't say that I was so much bullied as, I don't know, I guess people would probably say that still is, but made fun of, you know, mm -hmm. now t the technical term for, you know, bullied has um, kind of changed over the years. And um, while I wasn't um, uh, really uh, depressed about it as a child, you know, I made my way through because um, I always identify with having NF and, and saying that one day I was going to make changes, you know, about NF. I didn't really know how that was going to happen, but I, I didn't want um, a, a person of NF to be seen as someone, you know, as someone like, oh my gosh, what is that? I need to just stay away from it. Or, you know, if you, if you don't know about it, then, you know, my, my best thing to do is make fun of it or, you know. I wanted to kind of change that 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 whole image or that stereotype yes. about it, and that goes mm -hmm. for anyone who lives with anything that's visual. People who are, you know, maybe in a wheelchair, or people who have MS, or people, you know, with anything that is sort of different, so to speak. Right. It's so important to educate people mm -hmm. about it, right? And do yeah. you feel like you face if some of those stereotypes are more so in your childhood or adulthood? Do you feel like? I I think with NF, it starts like from the very beginning, because you get those, you know, those rude comments, comments and stares and everything from day one. Um, you know, people have no, uh, they don't discriminate in making fun of a child or an adult. Right. It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. no different. And, you know, that's why I've, um, you know, I've, in one of my posts on Instagram, I always I often say that you should, um, stare and not care because if your mm. child is old enough to stare then you, they're old enough for you to explain to them why they shouldn't stare or why they yes. shouldn't make fun of people um that's the moment when you you have that conversation not in a grocery store when they're pointing at someone and you know making rude comments or right. prepare them you know, prepare them early you know I've, yeah. I've had to step in and and educate children in stores and everything and you know all the time, I don't want to do that all the time. You know, sometimes I just want to right. shop and do my thing. You know, I don't want to have to, you know, explain, you know, while someone is staring, oh, you know, hi, how are you today? You know, then a conversation starts, you know, sometimes that's good, but, you know, you know, sometimes that's just like, okay, do your job, <laughs> you know, grow up. Yes, that's right. Because yeah. it's supposed to be train up a child as in your own child. For the most part, you should be yeah. teaching them not to discriminate. Yeah. Do not point at people. Do not do that. Because yes. You have to learn in private in order to be uh, uh, be respectful in public. That's how it goes, exactly. in my opinion. 